Okay, I've come to the realization. The humanity's got rabies. <laughs> See, at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, <laughs> animals don't fucking kill each other. Animals don't fucking kill each other. When a lion, two lions fucking fight over fucking mating rights, it's very fucking rare one of them dies. They get injured, they don't die. They don't fucking, they're not trying to kill each other, just fucking trying to impress the girls. Gardity, <laughs> on the fucking other hand, has got rabies. just doesn't seem to get the fucking point that yeah nature's brutal but not cruel No, I get it. Don't get me wrong. No, I get it's not easy to fucking see the good in anything any fucking more. No, but at the end of the fucking day, it is there. You know, nature was a fucking example for a very long time. An inspiration for a lot of people. What happened? What happened was a bunch of fucking entitled rats around the fucking round fucking dedicating them fucking selves to genocide. What happened was homophobic and fucking rectus developed rabies and massacred the Neanderthals and fucking thought that fucking demeaning. I'm a god and I'm entitled to do whatever the fuck I want. Do you know fucking how to defeat terrorism? Don't become them. Be natural. They try to rape you, knock them out. You don't have to murder them. They'll do it to themselves.
very sad people. And like I said, they've got rabies. Say, nature puts fucking down her. Deformed children, not because she hates them, but because she knows they're not going to survive. When a fucking bird is born that can't fly, it's not a kindness to fucking expect it to keep living because all that's gonna fucking do is mean that that bird is going to die in despair for the same reason that fish don't have long-term memories the amount of animals that eat them to survive it would be a cruelty to fucking let them have a memory like that Nature is brutal, but she is not cruel. Don't fear them. Yes, the world's gonna fucking be destroyed. Yes. Terrorism is gonna be responsible for it. But the good fucking thing about the fact that they got rabies is the fact that that willingness to not take no for an answer is going to get them all killed. All you have to fucking do to make sure you're not among the casualties is focus on surviving. They can't fucking tell you fucking, uh, well, you have to do anything. Why the fuck would you want to go to a fucking heaven that's full of fucking psychopaths? Are you happy fucking living among them now? Then why the fuck would you want to go to their fucking heaven? Isn't the fucking world we built enough? That you fucking hate it. Why? What is it about fucking nature that makes you fucking want to commit genocide? Stop and think about fucking that before you fucking decide where your loyalties lie. Which terrorist organisation am I going to fucking pick today? Racism, sexism, homophobia. But none of you seem to fucking get the fucking point, do you? You consider yourselves fucking heroes fighting for all these different rights that you claim to be fighting for. You're just a genocidal fucking psychopath looking for a fucking reason to fucking murder someone. And you don't even fucking see it.
How do you combat terrorism? You don't become them. What, you fucking think fucking people fucking aren't capable of fucking, uh, well, showing each other fucking respect in the fucking street just because they're black, white, gay, man, woman? You are the problem. And you don't even fucking see it. Most fucking people get on with their day. They're fucking, well, nice to each other. And then there's you whining about fucking because fucking one fucking person got treated like shit. It fucking means the entire world is racist, sexist, and homophobic. <clears throat> and then all these fucking people fucking grow up fucking, you know, with this complex of I'm not beautiful. The only fucking thing that makes anyone fucking beautiful is honesty. That's why nature's so fucking beautiful. There's nothing about it that's not honest. see enemies in everything and expect every single generation to believe in you for it all the fucking while telling yourselves you're better than nature nature fucking deserves to be raped pillaged and burnt and then stuck on a fucking wall like a trophy that fucking says i'm better than you Why? What have you done that's been fucking been so fucking amazing that you're better than nature? Nature doesn't fucking murder each other for fucking, for fucking sport. Nature doesn't even fucking murder each other fucking over mating rights. The only time nature commits euthanasia is when their children have no hope. An animal will only put fucking another animal down because it's got no hope. A bird doesn't kill its deformed young because it's cruel. It kills it because the fucking bird has got no wings. And a bird without fucking wings cannot fucking escape a predator. but you're there it's like you've got such a fucking low opinion of our own deformed and you think that makes you better it's like well it's, it's illegal to commit euthanasia on these fucking people even though they fucking know they're a burden they're not a burden. Yes, they fucking are. You don't like to fucking admit it. Why don't you like to fucking admit it? Because you're better than fucking nature. <clears throat> Saying everybody else, they may not think they're better than fucking nature. You're just so fucking used to the shit that you can't fucking help but fucking, well, see them as a burden. Why? Because you need help too. 
and that's just the way that it is. And there's not enough help to go around because the vast majority of people that want to help are fucking arrogant, think they're better than you. If you go to a fucking doctor and, well, they haven't got the fucking time because their arrogance over the century has, well, cost people to fucking lose faith in them. got 10 minutes to fucking have a consultation we're not even gonna get the diagnosis fucking right come back in two weeks sorry you can't fucking do that because the receptionist doesn't fucking book fucking appointments even though the doctor tells her fucking well tells you to book one but they don't get the fucking diagnosis right they or they don't end up giving you enough medication because everybody's immune systems are different everybody is different you cannot put everybody in the same fucking category. Humans are a combination of every single fucking animal instinct in existence. Penguins, dolphins, lions, tigers, bears, elephants. We're not all meat eaters and we're not fucking all herbivores. why we had different countries to begin with because we're different animal instincts Don't have to murder the terrorists to stand up to them. Just don't let them murder you. It's all it boils down to at the end of the day. How'd you stop a terrorist from murdering you? Punch it, it's a coward. What if it tries to murder us in our sleep? Or when we're fucking going shopping or tries to fly a fucking plane into a fucking building? Shoot the plane down. If you know there's a terrorist fucking in control of it, shoot the fucker down. Anyone on that fucking plane who's loyal to their fucking country would be screaming, shoot us down, well, there's no hope for us. They're going to kill us anyway.
Any fucking time nature kills. Is out of mercy. You are a sick fuck, you know that, right? Teaching children to be fucking frightened for their very soul. If you don't believe in me, you're going to hell. You created it. You go there. The world I live in is perfectly fine. I'm content to be natural. <clears throat> You've got rabies. It's no fucking wonder you want to live in hell. No fucking what do you want to live in fucking hell? Like I said, you got rabies. You want to take it to meaning I think that I'm better than you. Well, my methods work, mate, and fucking whether you like it or not, you insecure little faggot, yeah. That's the way it is. When you're good at something and somebody else isn't, you are better than them. But that doesn't fucking mean you're superior to them. It doesn't fucking mean that you're better than them in the sense of they're not good at anything and you're good at everything. Whoopty fuck, you can draw. And... I can draw. I may not be fucking as good as I fucking as I could be if I wanted to fucking be. Because I don't practice. I draw when I want to. And I know there's a lot of people out there that are fucking better drawing than me. But I don't give a shit. The only fucking reason is not because I'm not capable of it. It's because it's not something fucking I love that much. I love drawing. Don't get me wrong. But if you wanted fucking, you know, if I fucking, yeah, wanted to draw, I'd draw. But I'd rather be out in the garden planting flowers. I'm good at that. Better at fucking that than I am at drawing. Why? Because I love it. I love drawing, but not that much. That's why I'm not as good at drawing as I am at fucking gardening. That doesn't fucking mean that the fucking people are fucking that are better at me than fucking drawing are better than fucking me at gardening. You see? This is fucking how balance and harmony works. Just because someone's better than you at something doesn't fucking mean they're better than you at everything. And this is what the terrorists think. They're so much better than everything fucking else. That they're entitled to go out and murder any fucking thing that tells them no. The difference between humility and pride. The vast majority of the people in this world have broken humility, not broken pride. But you don't see a distinction between them anymore because you don't understand what that is. On the surface, humility and pride will say exactly the same things. Or when push comes to shove, pride will always be proven wrong. Why? 
because it doesn't understand anything beyond, well, the end of its nose. Most people don't want to understand what's the past the end of their fucking nose. Terrorist can't understand what's the fucking beyond the bear of its nose. It doesn't want to. So most people are frightened. And with good reason, fucking terrorists never take no for an answer. But the key to staying humble and not becoming them is to just focus on defending what you love, like nature would. You don't fucking have to be drawn into their terrorist fucking organisations for superiority. They'll kill themselves. Yeah, they fucking might fucking hijack a fucking plane that you're fucking going on fucking holiday on. But the fucking way to not be frightened and stay fucking calm under circumstances like that is to have faith in yourself. That doesn't fucking mean you should fucking become a hero and try and take the fucking plane back from them. Focus on fucking the things that are fucking around you. Pay attention to what's going fucking on. And focus on surviving it. You don't fucking have to take on the terrorist. If that's going to get you fucking killed, then that's not the right decision. say and if more people fucking thought fucking like that and the situations like that when other fucking governments have to fucking make decisions like shoot down the fucking plane you're not gonna hate them for it because you know full fucking well the people on that fucking plane know there's no hope but they'll be fucking you know thinking fucking like this they're focusing on your own fucking survival and the survival of your fucking family you're not giving in to fucking fear. You are fucking doing everything you fucking can. They're not going to be fucking dying in despair. Encourage them to fucking think less like a fucking terrorist. And the terrorists won't have no power. They'll have lots of things going through their fucking heads, fucking... I know. But that's why it's so fucking important to not encourage them to be frightened about it. At the end of the fucking day, like I said, if the terrorists want to go to fucking hell, let them. Do you want to fucking go to fucking heaven where they're destined to go? Why the fuck would you want to go there? I wouldn't. And hey, if more fucking people were prone to fucking thinking that fucking way, the terrorists wouldn't take over the fucking plane to fucking begin with because there'd be nobody on there that would be fucking frightened of them. Four or five terrorists tried to take over a fucking plane filled with fucking passengers. Yeah, but they'll have guns and fucking all that malarkey. 
And if you're not frightened, they won't fucking be able to shoot you with them. Right? Because fucking if you're not frightened of them, you'll be trusting your instincts. And when you trust your fucking instincts, they're there to fucking tell you how to survive. Yeah, yeah, granted. Some people's instincts safely. There's no way you're gonna fucking be able to run on a fucking plane. But a cornered fox is more dangerous than a jackal, as uh, Grey Wolf fucking said on fucking on Metal Gear Solid. The fox's first instinct is to flee. Corner it, and it'll tear your throat out. Just fucking because your instinct is to flee doesn't fucking mean you're not capable of defending yourself. Have faith in your instincts. Listen to them. Don't be frightened of them. When you trust them, terrorists haven't got any fucking window for fear. Trust that even though your fucking instinct is saying run, there's got a fucking backup fucking plan if they fucking catch you. So you're thinking fucking like that in situations where you see on fucking TV mass fucking panic and fucking people getting trampled because they fell over. Situations like that won't happen if you trust your instincts. Because you'd be fleeing calmly, completely in control of your emotions. Observing the fucking area the entire fucking time. All fucking there, fucking... All the while, your fucking instincts are fucking there right with you, fucking helping you fucking observe all this fucking area. And when you fucking trust them, like I said, if you end up getting caught, it's got a backup plan fucking for your survival, mate. So don't worry. <coughs> when you can have faith in yourself, you can have faith in others. When you trust your instincts, you can fucking sense people's intentions. Subconscious as fucking as science would put it. You fucking... It knows what's going on. It knows every fucking thing that's going fucking on. And it'll have a fucking backup plan. Your instincts will... Well, serve you well if you trust them. Because that's the way that it is. But these fucking people think that they're entitled to the world all to themselves. They're not. Nature doesn't work that way. If nature worked that fucking way, we wouldn't have all these different types of fucking animals. All these different fucking types of fucking animals. Different instincts, but not a single one of them take more than what they need. Not a single fucking one of them murders for sport. Not a single fucking one of them murders at all, unless they've got no choice. You can learn to disarm a terrorist.
more people fucking knew how to defend themselves, terrorists would fucking have virtually no hope. If any at all. You ever played Valkyria Chronicles? It's on the fucking PlayStation. At least the one that I'm fucking talking about, the original one. It's a game based around a world war. Yeah. This is a fictional fucking world, obviously. Say, the game is set. Uh, around a country <sighs> called Gallia and this country is smack dab in the fucking middle of two humongous empires Who were at war with each other. Well, Gallia gets drawn into the fucking war because the one empire needing resources invades. Say, and the entire story is centered fucking around the deeds of a militia unit. Who was who were conscripted into service when Gallia was invaded and end up going fucking on to well drive the Empire out of Gallia. They become war heroes. The game is done in such a way that it's completely fucking amazing, and I recommend everybody play it. But the reason that the militia, point I'm trying to make in it, the reason the militia was so awesome in that game was because. Gallia had a fucking policy to train people because they were living on the fucking borders of two massive fucking empires. They put a policy in place in their country to train fucking people in military service. So if a fucking day fucking came like that where they got invaded, people wouldn't be fucking frightened to conscript. And it's like, I think that's a very good policy to have. Why? Because it teaches fucking people fucking how to defend themselves. And when someone knows they can defend themselves, they're not frightened. So when a terrorist comes fucking knocking on your fucking door, he's got very few fucking victims to pick from. If a terrorist's got very few fucking victims to pick from... They're not going to be able to take over fucking planes. Or blow up super fucking markets.
It's easy to get addicted to people that make sense, but that doesn't mean you haven't got instincts of your own. Know your worth. It's not arrogant to fucking know your worth. When you know what you're good at, you can work together with others. You can complement each other with each other's abilities. That's what a community is. Stop trying to become something you're not and you'll be just fine.